The Pilgrimage Music Festival in Franklin is growing. This weekend, the crowds are expected to grow by 50% over last year, and that could make traffic and parking a little bit tricky. News Channel 5's Sarah McCarthy is live in Sky 5. Sarah, what do people need to know if they're planning to attend? Well, if people are driving into Franklin or driving to the festival, they're going to want to take Mac Hatcher Parkway onto Franklin Road. And if you take a look here, that's the area that we're above now, just to give you a really good understanding of what you're going to want to do. The northbound lane will be closed for people walking or biking to the stage, and the southbound lanes will take you right into downtown. And that's where the city says they're set up for a record turnout. Pilgrimage puts a focus on Franklin as a destination. From Franklin's town square down Main Street. We all know it's going to get crazy, it's going to get busy. Signs of what's coming. Record number of people in town. Flying store windows and sidewalks. We will be having live music on our stage. Where businesses say the festival's after party begins. It fits hand in hand with, with the music culture here, being so close to Nashville. You know, great names that have played at the Ryman and, and and, and, you know, just the booming uh, music industry here. And, and it's almost spilling over into to downtown Franklin. A spillover that could mean a mess of traffic, something city officials hope to avoid. We recommend people come from the north, from Mac Hatcher to the north, because we've kind of reconfigured the traffic pattern a little bit to help accommodate more pedestrians and bikers. Downtown, two parking garages will hold about 600 cars altogether, setting the stage for more music at businesses up and down Main Street, where many are already preparing for a rush. And then at 11 o'clock when the doors open, you can almost hear like a roar of people coming in. Like once once one guest comes in, the next come in, and then you know, then it's showtime. Then it's, then it's time for us to rock and roll and, and start running. An annual rock and roll rush that continues to grow. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm looking forward to next year and the year after that. And you can see here volunteers are continuing to set up the area around the stage and tickets for both Saturday and Sunday are still available online. We put a link for you on our website. That's newschannel5.com. We're live in Sky 5. Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Thank you, Sarah. A landmark for soul cooking is closing up shop in East Nashville. Loyal customers are upset, but the owner's son says he hopes to find an affordable new spot soon. Our Alexander Cohen is at Bailey and Cato's Family Restaurant in East.